Hello and welcome back to Synotic. Today we are casting BW versus Tommy. Uh, these guys are pretty evenly matched. This demo is a little bit old, but they've always been pretty evenly matched. We've got Big Next Tommy and we've got BW. Tommy going to grab the first frag with his next. Get a nice spawn on BW. Should be able to take him out here. Gets the second. Going to be able to open up a decent lead. Bit of a shit spawn there for BW. Um, they might, the age of this demo, they may have been playing with random spawns turned on. Like entirely random. So that could be the slight problem. But Tommy taking a nice early lead here. He's going to be trying to control the map now. He got a really fast kill before the major items were taken. So should be able to try and take that lead. Take both of the major items and start just really trying to push ahead. BW going down. Again, he's going to have to wait. He needs to find this major item. And hope that Tommy isn't able to come in and steal it. So Tommy's over by the Mega Health. There he is. BW going to go through. Trying to avoid each other now. Tommy, I think he's just trying to back off. Trying to get a bit more stack. Play for a bit further away. He's going to push in here. He's going to find BW again. Tommy's aim really quite good right now. It looks like Tommy's running away from it, but I have been told this is an extremely close game. So, is this the comeback for BW? This is a map that can go very quickly one way and then the other. And come to a close right in the last few seconds of the match. BW could be waited around here to try and take a little bit of damage. I think he was going to try and go over to that armour, but it looks like he's going to the health. Needs that small health. Tommy's managed to bully him off that platform. Get him out of the way. This mega arm is going to come up in a few seconds. And BW's there. But he's going to take a big direct grenade from Tommy. Tommy's going to take him out. And then I think Tommy should be able to grab that armour. But no. Tommy's going to go for the mega. He's left the armour up. BW's going to go down. But BW might be taken out by this ending anyway. Tommy's got a massive lead in this game. But we are only two and a half minutes into it. So there's definitely a lot of time for t BW to come back. Force Tommy to make a mistake. But right now Tommy looks like he just isn't making any mistakes. Goes in a bit rough there. BW manages to pin some perfect aim. But that's a good respawn from Tommy. Manages to pull it off the line Get over towards BW and be able to play it over there. Very, very well played that actually from Tommy. Not panicking when he got taken out. Now BW. He's managed to regain control. We could see he was panicking potentially a little bit. But you can never quite tell with BW. He uh, plays erratically. Whether he's calm or completely lost it. And that can help you when you rush through and you're able to pull off shots like that. Being erratic means you're basically calm whenever. BW doesn't want to stay up there. Good reason for it. Tommy goes in and tries to take the shot. Beautiful pin there from BW. Grabs that armour. And he should be heading out of here. Very nice shot there. Tommy, he's got good aim in the air. If you get both players in the air, Tommy's probably your best bet, especially in these fights. BW giving up a few frags off of the spawn here. He's managed to pull it back to only a four frag difference, now five. But again, we're only four minutes into this game. We're really not that far through. There is a lot more time for this game to play out. And a beautiful curving rocket through that gap as Tommy falls back. He finds BW up on the top. BW is going to try and make an escape for it. He's got to try and stay in some sort of position. He's only got 10 health. The Mega Armor just came up. Well, sorry, Mega Health just came up. Mega Armor's over here. Tommy's going to find it coming through. Tommy consistently coming through that bottom section. If BW's noticed that, then he should be able to pin him. Um... Because Tommy's always coming through that bottom section. He's never coming through this entrance next to BW here. 
So that could be a way, just as I say that, Tommy, of course, changes direction. But in general, in these fights, Tommy's been coming through there. So BW, if you can notice that, if you can spot that and be able to control that section, that might just be a way that Tommy rotates in a bit of a predictable fashion. Always useful to know sort of predictable ways that your opponent moves around a map because then you can push them to go those ways specifically and they'll be happy to take them. They'll, con you know, they won't think second about it that you've forced them to go that way. But then they'll go and you'll be able to lay a trap for them. And they might not notice that it's a trap. They might think they made the wrong decision. They might think you got lucky and were looking the correct way. Which can mean you can get a second one out of it. And if you're playing against somebody like me who very much plays in that sort of style, you can really, really punish someone who's got, on a certain map, uh, a very distinctive moving style around certain maps. Both these players going hard into each other, though. As BW picks up another one. We've got three and a half minutes left on the clock. Tobby, very quick in. So quick, BW couldn't hit him with anything there. Triple kill. And BW picked up a third in a row. This is an extremely high fragging map as, uh, match, especially for this map. It can go... Well, this map can go very high, but it can go extremely low with only sort of two to three score lines. Oh, that was a very nice Nex. Giving Tommy a piece of his own medicine here. BW with 34%. It's not too bad for a map where they've mostly been spamming at each other from afar. Not really picking up the inside fight weapons like the Nex. BW's got to get out of there. He knew it. He pulled out, but Tommy was able to get a Nex in as BW left. Leaving BW pretty low and searching for little bits of health and trying to just avoid getting hit by Tommy. Tommy comes in massive necks. And BW is going to be left again very, very, very low. But he's able to find another frag. I was going to say he was able to find the mega armor, but he was able to find a beautiful frag right there onto Tommy. Tommy now on the back foot. But he's still got the score lead. There is two, just over two minutes left to go. Tommy has the score lead. BW looks like he's trying to pull it back. And we're seeing a complete reversal of what we saw at the start of the game. Where BW was getting all the bad spawns. Now Tommy's getting pretty bad spawns. Running into BW straight off of them. With no weapons, no armour. And just getting taken out. A very nice shot there from Tommy. Keeping BW off the top. Manages to grab the armour. And looks like he's going to be able to get away from it. Even if he doesn't, he's managed to grab the armour. He's keeping BW on his toes and he even manages to get the kill. That was impressive. I was not expecting Tommy to find the frag there. If he grabbed that mega health, that would have been a complete turnaround. 16 to 18 the scoreline. A minute and a half left to go. There's only two frags in it right now. Both these players are extremely closely matched. BW, you can see the pressures getting to these guys. They're making small mistakes like BW bouncing that grenade off of the wall and straight back at him. Tommy finds the kill. BW's going to be hoping that Tommy's still in there. He just sees a foot, I think. You saw him flick across. This is a POV demo, which means that any of these little bits you can see. So you could see the uh, name of Tommy. As long as BW has the names enabled, BW will be able to see that name. So sometimes you can. If you just see a foot, the game will give you a lot more than just that little yellow foot. Nice air shot there from BWB. He's going to get taken out by Tommy. 17 to 20, the scoreline. This is a huge frag. And they're so closely matched at the end here. Very nice shot from BWB. He's got 30 seconds to find two frags and take this to overtime. Tommy knows he's got to just get away. He's spamming out with as much as he can, trying to do as much damage. He's just going to wait on the spawn. He's going to stay. We know he's going to stay. He's respawned just there. He's up at the top. He's spamming back. They tie it up. 15 seconds left. Is BW going to be able to take it? 
He looks like he's going to be able to find the frag. He finds the frag. Will Tommy in the next 10 seconds be able to find it? Will Tommy be able to even it up? He's running through there. He doesn't. He might not have looked at the time. He's only got two seconds left. He just looks at the time with three seconds to go. BW takes the win in the last few seconds. An absolutely amazing game between these two. So close in the end there. And thank you very much to BW for sending that one in. If you have a demo that's even half this good, send it over to me. I am MX Craven on the IRC. If you ask, someone will be able to find me. Send your demos over to me. I'll get them cast. Go play this wonderful game. It's over in the bottom corner, zoonotic.org. It is entirely free. And if you play enough, one day you could be as good as these people. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one of these.